Washington's coast has seen a higher rate of gray whale deaths this season. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife is just one agency that is part of NOAA's West Coast Marine Mammal Stranding Network. When gray whales become stranded, WDFW and our partners work within the network to secure the whale at a location and make plans for a necropsy. Network biologists necropsied this female in May. The goal of the necropsy is to examine the dead animal and interpret the cause of death. The first step of a necropsy is to take photos and measurements of the animal. This female was just under 42 feet. In addition to length measurements, biologists take numerous other measurements for life history and body condition indicators. Biologists also take photos of the tail and dorsal knuckles to see if the whale in the photo is in the identification catalog. Once measuring is complete, biologists investigate the outside of the whale for whale lice and barnacles. A lot of whale lice can indicate that the animal could have been debilitated before its death. They also look for any external injuries, scars, or lesions. This also includes examining for any sides of human interaction. This female had healed orca rakes on her side and tail. Next, they examine her baleen. Baleen are a filter feeder system in gray whales. Gray whales are bottom feeders. When a whale opens its mouth, it takes in water, mud, and food, such as shrimp, crab, and clams. The baleen allow it to push out the water and keep the food sources for the whale to eat. Once they examine the baleen, they remove sections of them to send to labs for hormone and stable isotope analysis. The last part of the necropsy includes opening the whale. First, they have to get through a layer of blubber that can be up to eight inches deep. Once they are through the blubber layer, they take samples of her uterus, kidneys, intestines, stomach contents, and more. In this particular instance, biologists found ghost shrimp in one of her stomachs, but she was skinny and undernourished. She was left on the beach to decompose naturally. As gray whale deaths continue at a higher rate this spring, WDFW and our partners in NOAA's network are working to necropsy these animals to better understand why this is happening. If you see a marine mammal stranded in Washington, you can call 1-866-767-6114. Thank you.